creating a pristine, safe uh, space and empowering space can happen only when we rely on the most fundamental intelligence that is in the basis of each one of us. So when we talk about open intelligence, it's not a state of trying to fix your dirty mind and make it better, you know. It's about seeing that your mind is already pristine, open and totally capable of all the things you ever wanted and all the things you wanted and you thought you could never do. Why? Because in the basis, each one of us, we are enriched and empowered with a tremendous intelligence. Most of us just didn't know it. So this is why the Balance View came as a response to people's need right now to be educated in the nature of mind. What is our mind? What is intelligence? Are we really limited by our thoughts, emotions and sens sensations? Like, let, let's pause for a moment and check it out in our own direct experience. Rather than doing the same mistake over and over again and thinking that it will, this time it, it will provide a result of well-being, uh, happiness, satisfaction or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, once you are here you can really relax open up and see, take a pause, you know, all day there's something going on, take a pause. You can even stop thinking for a moment and see what remains. This is open intelligence. Now open intelligence to know about it is great, it's a great introduction, it's a great first step you can say. This open intelligence was always available. It was available when you didn't know about it, when you thought you knew it and lost it. It was available all the time and it will be available. If we choose to ignore it and, and if we choose to be a victim of our thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences, we don't enjoy the benefits and gifts of open intelligence or the gift of being a human being. We can't really enjoy it. Most of us, and I can share from my own experience, it was like, okay, waking up in the morning, I hope nothing bad will happen and I hope I'll have good thoughts today and I hope this won't happen, I hope I... Uh, 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 uh. All, of, all of the day was very much structured to, I really hope and I fear that something else will happen, you know? So it was a constant up and down, ups and downs. I tried to control it, it didn't lead anyway, it, it led to neutralization. I tried to think about it a lot, it led to more confusion. And I tried to avoid it, well, no. It's very obvious to me, so I tried all of those things and I tried really hard, you know. I wanted to know what is the nature of mind. I wanted to know what is reality and I couldn't, I just couldn't settle for anything less than that. And then I found the Balanced View training, which is great, because I, I was provided with a clear introduction, stop thinking for a moment. Many of us come to this training, including myself, I admit, thinking that we already know it all. And the invitation here is also, okay, let it be as it is. There's much more to learn. Also, I'm involved in the training, in the Balanced View training, for the last five years. I, I still feel like a total beginner, really, like, whoa, what? I have no idea how opening intelligence will open more and more. I have no idea what are the gifts and benefits I will discover in myself and be able to share with the world. Still, everything seems already so perfect, like I, I have nothing more to do, but the understanding that it just gets better and better excites me and it wakes me up in the morning regardless of my data. Data is everything you can perceive, thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, I know that before my um, relationship with data was very complicated, okay? I had emotions, they came from here. I had thoughts, they came from here. Uh, I had uh, <laughs> sensations, they came from this uh, thingy. I had, uh, you know, everything was, okay, and the good emotions, they come from here, and the bad stuff, they come from the nasty thing, and you can label it as ego, um, uh, pain body, karmatic sin, flawed, something dirty and, and dangerous, you know? So all of these things, I was like, okay, wh where should I focus? Where should I find stability? In my spine, in my, in my belly, in, in, where, where should I, in a good thought? Where should I find stability? So most of the day I was totally disoriented. I was like, okay, <laughs> where, where, where is stability? And like really trying to do many, many things in order to find it. Well, 
if we want to treat ourselves with respect and dignity, we have to pause and we have to stop with that. And we have to check in our own experience. What is available to us right now? You know, you might have amazing ideas about reality and you might have none. And that's totally fine. What is available to you right now? What you can rely on? What can provide complete stability? And it's of course, in the beginning there is doubt and there is confusion. We don't believe what we hear or maybe we do, it's fine. Like I didn't believe anything. It sounded like science fiction to me. People can live from a state of total stability, enjoy being together all the time, not playing out anger and sadness and misery and... <laughs> yeah, sure, you know. But when I tested it in my own experience, I started to see the results. I'm treating my data very differently than what I used to do five years ago. When a thought arises, I have an, an amazing opportunity. You know, after the moment of stopping thinking, I have an amazing opportunity. I can either emphasize the thought, take it to be something with an independent nature, or I can allow it to be as it is for a short moment. Short moment. Be kind to yourself, not long moment. A short moment of open intelligence, opening our intelligence, instinctively recognizing what is in the basis. Now, all of us possess it already, you know, this treasure of benefits. So it's not like we need to go and find it somewhere sacred and special. The sacred and special is you, exactly where you are sitting right now. And it's your choice whether you want to be lost in your thoughts and emotions or not. I like the second option better. I like it better because it provides results and there's constantly opening. Okay, so we take a thought, for example, anger. Did you ever feel anger? Raise your hand if you, hi, if you ever felt anger. Okay, wow, wow, amazing. It's not just me. Woo, great. Okay, so we step out of the isolation of thinking that negative thoughts, they happen only to the flawed, small, person who needs to really deal with them in secretly, not to talk about it. Now we see that we are all constantly disturbed. Happy New Year! You know, like, <laughs> we are constantly disturbed and bombarded by thoughts and emotions. It's, so the choice is not to control them, refine them, make them better, is to see that they are already perfect, naturally perfect. Like the stars in the sky, they are naturally perfect. And they are inseparable from the sky itself. You know how beautiful when there's no electricity and you see all the stars. We are in India, by the way. There's no electricity and you see all the stars and they are just shining and, and beautiful like that, resting naturally in the vast expanse of sky. Same with our thoughts and emotions. So all the complication about trying to deal with them, eh? yeah, come on. In Hebrew and Arabic we have a saying, it's like, yalla. Like, come on, stop the bullshit and start to live an empowered life. This is a choice I made uh, five years ago. And my life is great, you know, my life is really good. My, the content of my mind I can share with you openly, it didn't become nicer. So if you're expecting, you know, that suddenly you'll have like little fairies running around and marshmallow falling from the sky and like <laughs> Disney movies, background music or Bollywood, whatever you prefer, it won't happen. So don't tell that we didn't tell you. <laughs> but you'll start to see that you are undistracted, that you are, that you are stable and confident regardless of circumstances, that you are able to function much better, you know, whether it's the noise, you know what to do. You are so smart, you know, all of us, we are so smart. If we just allow it to be for a moment, all the, you know, intense anger that arises, we will know what to do. Sometimes it will mean to say, okay, whoa, stop, please. <laughs> please stop it. Or find a different guest house. So buy an amazing sound system that will provide you with the silence you want. I, I, I don't know which solutions we can come up, but I'm sure there are solutions. There's never a place where we are stuck and there's no solution, you know, like a glass ceiling. These are, this is the past, you know, thinking that there's a glass ceiling and we are stuck somewhere. Whether it's our body or our, I don't know why I use this one, but you know what I mean, glass ceiling, like something you can't, you can't see be, beyond. 
and then it's exciting. What will be the solution and what will be of most benefit to all? Because when we stop focusing on ourselves and our data and fixing ourselves because it doesn't lead anywhere, then we start to feel connected. You know all of these beautiful ideas, one world, unity and peace, you know? All of these are very potent ideas and they are re a reality. This is the reality of the balanced view and the Four Mainstays lifestyle. People that say, okay, wow, I, I can't take it anymore. For me it was like that. Some people are like, I want to take it, I don't want to take it, I take it, I don't want to take it. And then they take it. But for me it was like, I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be old and miserable. You know, I don't want to waste my life. I, I find it very heartbreaking to waste my life not knowing what is the nature of my mind. And not, not fulfilling this heart wish of mine to be of benefit to all. I, I just didn't want to live like that. So when we have the support structure, you know, because many people are courageous and they say, I'll do it by myself. I'll get it. I'll be the one who will get it. And guess what? Most of these people, these people they, are f they, they fail. Or they get into some kind of a strange state that doesn't have anything to do with open intelligence. But when you have the Four Mainstays, there's a constant reality check. You meet people who are real, grounded, open-hearted, that don't take you as a victim, and then you meet reality. So this is the beauty, you know, when you meet someone, you don't even need to know uh, what is open intelligence, but when you see somebody who is totally empowered and alive with potency, then you're like, okay, <laughs> what's happening? What did you take? Where do they sell it? You know, like... Is it in, on the beach or in Anjuna? Where, 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 where did they sell this thing that makes you look so open and free and, and beautiful? What, what is it? And then you say, okay, um, 10.30 Balance View Center. How much does it cost? You know. Each one of us that take a short moment, even right now, allowing everything to flower, and release itself like it does anyway, it's a great contribution to, to everyone you meet. And once you train it up, when, once you don't just say, oh wow, that was a nice thing and I'll go and emphasize my data stream for, for the rest of my life, uh, then you start to see, wow, I, I can really be of tremendous benefit here. My voice counts, I have a voice that can be shared and spoken and enjoyed, uh, my body, qualities and activities, everything can be aligned with benefit for all. The benefit of all. Now, ideas about benefit, we have a lot of them, and about compassion. Just the word compassion, and you, I don't know, immediately I have a golden thing is around the head, and you know, which is beautiful, I don't dismiss it. That, that, that was very needed uh, 2,000 years ago. But in two, 2013, we might need some new technology. A technology for the nature of, of the mind that actually works and provides results. Like you buy a computer, and if it doesn't work, you know, you won't let it just say, okay, fine, I paid $2,000, and I want, you know, my computer doesn't work, that's fine. Or you go back to the store and buy a new one that doesn't work. This is with education in the nature of mind that doesn't work. We just, we, d we don't need to use it anymore. And with education in the nature of mind that does work, we keep using it and we see <coughs> the results. So the four mainstays, I'll just say something about that, is short moments of opening intelligence, of allowing everything to be as it is, repeated many times, until they become automatic. The recognition become automatic. We know that open intelligence is there all the time. We can count on it. It's count on, count countable. And also we have uh, a training, which is amazing array of media, training, written texts and um, audios and videos like we saw today, that they all talk about the same thing. At one point, you know, you'll say, wait, why, why am I coming back again and again? They keep saying the same thing. Or maybe I didn't hear it right. Or why do I keep listening to the same thing? What, what's wrong? And I enjoy it, you know? Then you see something starting to seep in and then it evokes the instinctive recognition. Because if you open up the TV, you won't hear much about open intelligence. And if you read books about self-help books and about 
how flawed you are, probably won't much uh, open intelligence will be there. But when you listen and read the text of Balanced View, you'll get what you want, which is a beautiful confirmation of natural perfection. And we have trainers who are available to support us, so we don't need to do it alone, climb the mount of, mountain of open intelligence by ourselves. We do it with a friend, with a guide, who dedicated their life to the benefit of all and the tools of the Four Mainstays. And we have a community. As we talk now, there's already um, in our center in Sweden, I'm not sure if it's snowing right now, there are many people who are doing the same thing. And also in every other continent all over the world. This is the community of Balanced View. So there's already a great force of benefit. It's not just one, people, one person or two people. There's already an amazing force of benefit. And it will take over. You know, like in the movie. <laughs> but, but without the evil part of it. It's just like, okay, wow, I understood what is reality and I think I won't waste my life anymore. It makes me really happy to know it. And I'm going to share it with everyone who wants to know about it. That, that's how I'm going to live my life. And I won't settle for anything less than that. I don't want to live a life of confusion, of tension and misery. If these arise, I want to know what to do with them. And this is the Four Mainstays lifestyle. Prove it to yourself and challenge yourself. If you are new and you think all the things you think, they're perfect. Challenge yourself and see if this is true or not. Confirm to yourself if what we are sharing here is reality for you or not. And let us know how it goes.